So guys, another day, Tuesday, deadlift day. Uh, heading to Ohio in a couple of weeks, uh, three or four weeks. So we're doing a little demo, uh, a little seminar with Reebok. I decided I'm gonna ramp up for that. So maybe a squat PR, maybe a deadlift PR, maybe just lift something heavy-ish, uh, we'll see. So going over the tip today, maybe just the information of the day, uh, is different grips. Uh, grips on the deadlift, they, how they can help, hurt, maybe hinder your progress. Uh, obviously the most simple is just double overhand. You just grab the bar, both hands facing down. Uh, great for building uh, grip strength, forearm strength. Uh, great for symmetry, but once you hit a, a certain weight, reach a certain weight, the barbell is gonna start to roll. Uh, it's gonna kind of round your back, make it almost impossible to pull. Obviously grip or that upper back will be the limiting factor. From there, the very typical is the over under grip, where one palm's facing up, one's kind of down. It's very typical, it's what I've used forever. Most powerlifters use this. Um, benefits, grip, man. Uh, I've personally never dropped a deadlift. Uh, many guys can and do sometimes, they're stronger than, than their grip, but uh, mixed grip or, or uh, over under grips, very, very rare to miss. Uh, but negatives, it does build some uh, symmetry issues sometimes. One pec will get a little bit more tight, uh, which sometimes for me in the past has been an issue. It has uh, jacked up my, my squatting and my benching because that pec is tighter than the others. Uh, you can windmill a little bit where you start to, or helicopter around a little bit, uh, which also caused some issues for me in the past where my hip would get a little tired and a little tight on that one side uh, because I'd be turning while I was pulling, which is also very common. Sorry if it's loud, there's hell of cars going on for some reason. There's normally never cars out here. Number three, uh, which is actually more of a weightlifting technique, but uh, has been more popular in powerlifting lately, is the hook grip. The hook grip, you're going double over, uh, except what you're trying to use is your thumb as an anchor, and you're going to grab it with your other fingers. Now, uh, I'm no master in the hook grip, but I'll show you guys a quick demo during the video as I'm pulling. Hurts, a lot of pain. I've pulled 405 that way. Uh, pretty secure, uh, but some of it's genetics where you need a little bit longer arms, uh, excuse me, longer fingers, longer thumbs do help with that grip. So it's not necessarily for everyone. Uh, some people say that if you can't get both index and middle finger on that thumb, uh, maybe you shouldn't do it. So I'll show you guys all three just during my warm ups. I'm going uh, uh, straps because I don't plan on competing. That would be the last category of, of grip work. Um, it can take away from your, your strength a little bit, your forearm strength. Uh, your grip strength but i do all my accessories no straps so stiff legs and uh, even sometimes my higher reps lighter weight sets obviously pulling rowing uh, chin up so so far my grip's been fine uh, some people can't get away with this so they need to practice that the heavy deadlift uh, whether it is hook grip overhand or mixed grip five sets to three 525 or so on the deadlift going to start ramping up that squat also so we got about 455 for a couple sets of five two to three sets of five Time to get after it. Feeling okay, feeling pretty tired. Time change jacked me up, and then a long weekend at a uh, powerlifting meet coach and jacked me up, but sometimes you just gotta suck it up and go. Big ass coffee, let's go.